situation here, right here in Kansas. Fans have the opportunity to see the top of Texas women's title defended. Right here in Salina, Kansas, or Salina, is what you keep saying. I'm getting tired Salina, of you. Salina, Kansas. One of these fans is going to clock you one of these days. Here are the organs. You know who that is. It's get out. A little get out from under here. the table here. I know you're hiding. She's, she is creepy, but... There she is. Misfit. Now, the, the fans of the KWA will remember a young lady by the name of Morgan LeVay. I have to say, I, I miss Morgan, one of our best women's champions of all time. But in, in the interim, we get one of the best women wrestlers in the state of Texas in Misfit challenging the beer here tonight for her top of Texas women's championship. Rusty, this could very well be the main event. It could be right here. Misfit is a former top of Texas women's champion. She's looking to two-time it right here. Could we see another change of hands of the championships here tonight? Anything is That'd possible be at Gold Rush. There, people came here to Selena or Salina, Kansas looking for gold and they're going to walk out with it. Look at who we have here. And here comes our champion. Now I know we touched on this last time that we had a chance to work together, Rusty. Not only has the tag team division gone up a notch, and we'll talk about that a little bit later, but the women's division. I remember a time when we were seeing Stormy and Morgan LeVay and Cameron Brene, that is now in NXT, being some of the more prominent women. We've kind of seen a little bit of a turnover, but the roster, the women's roster specifically, has also been extend, expanding and growing in quality and quantity. That is a good thing for Midwest Pro Wrestling, if you ask me. It's getting phenomenal. It is getting impressive. We're seeing some top, top female competitors. Misfit, I'm just, every time I see her, I'm absolutely impressed. Nabira. Now, I'll tell you what, she is really working her way up the ranks there. I am really impressed with her, and she has already, in her young years, caught the first title there, the top of Texas women's title. And look who's the referee, Brent Wall. He's got that in his contract. How do you get that, Renee? How do you get to be referee in all the female matches out here? you got to be a good negotiator, right, man, and you got to have a that sweet for me. And that bell indicates the beginning of this top of Texas women's title match. And here we go, Rusty. This is going to be a good one. Locking up. Two ladies feeling each other out here. Beautiful to see a championship from another state being defended here at XWE. That just goes to show you the kind of respect that this organization has, not just in the state of Kansas in the Midwest, but also down south. Fans are in for a treat here for this one. This is a rare opportunity to see a top of Texas title defended right here in Kansas. I would warn the fans out there not to expect some sort of uh, technical, uh, you know, uh, highly technical matchup. These women are both brawlers, they're fighters. Uh, they've both been known to use their aggression to their advantage, so things may get a little spicy here before too long. Look at Nibira just wrenching away there on Misfit. That said, beautiful headlock there by Nibira. Misfit pushing her off. Oh, boom! Ooh. Nice big Ooh. shoulder block there. Nibira say, hey. Oh. I got the size advantage, I'm gonna take advantage. Yeah, that, and that's gonna be in Nabira's favor on this one, but Misfit, you gotta watch her. Oh, wow, beautiful counter nice. there. Took her right over. By Misfit, and I'll tell you what, I'm looking towards the doors and the fans are still filing in here tonight, Rusty. It is a packed Salina Fieldhouse tonight. One of our biggest crowds yet. Fans, if you get a chance, come out and be part of the XW experience. We're getting more and more every time we want to come out and check out what they hear about all the uh -oh. time. Pin, pin, pin. And a one, one count spread. Wow. Sorry, finish that thought, Rusty. We had so many fans from all over the country now finding out about XWE, and they're coming in from everywhere and seeing it live. They are just loving it. No question about it here. Navira. Again, using her size to her advantage. Brings her over. Wrenching away there on Misfit. He's got that thing locked in there, man, like a vice grip. Back up to their feet go both women. Kind of feels like a pendulum here, kind of swinging both ways. Rusty, one forth. mistake 
could change the whole game. Boom! Big clothesline, that could be it. Oh, goes to the cover. And these two are no strangers to each other, Renee. It was Nabira who took the title from Misfit. This is her opportunity. This is her rematch. Sandra here in Kansas. Gotta love a little backstory. No wonder we're seeing the aggression. We're seeing these women are familiar with Ooh. each other. Basement knees there by the challenger. Cover. Did, did Brett the Wall play baseball in his youth? That was a hell of a slide. It's possible. He's right, he's right on top. Maybe, I'll maybe catcher. That. Catcher. I, I would believe it. Okay, here we go. She's got till, till five. So that she'll get herself disqualified. You notice she'll, she'll hang on until four and three quarters. Reminding the wall there, she had a five. Champion now, being slung across the ring. Oh, boom! Another massive clothesline. Hart stepped right over her. A disrespectful step over and a huge leg drop into the pin here. Top of Texas women's title on the line. Ooh, big strike there by the champ. Couple hard blows there from Nabir to Misfit. Takes her into the ropes. Ooh, here we go, the champ. Cover. And just a one count. Misfit showing some tenacity there. We all know the, the crowd that she keeps, the, the friends that she keeps. And, uh, and I wouldn't put anything past Mifid, I'm gonna be honest with you. Mifid came to Slana Lorley and hung around some of these local cemeteries around here. There were various reports of her stalking around. I don't know what she does, I think she just, just Let's see, where, where, who are your sources? I, 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 you don't, you'd be surprised to who I got for sources around here today. You know what, don't you never worry mind. about it. I don't it. wanna know. It don't never you mind. worry about it. Oh, takes the beer over. Applying pressure to the throat area here simultaneously interjecting that knee right into the upper back. But Nibira using her size That's to get out of that do. predicament. That's what she's got to do. Misfit to the corner here. Ooh, thought we were going to see a splash there. Misses just by an inch or so. Ooh! Oh. Returns the favor. And Misfit is hurting for certain getting thrown like a sack of potatoes all the way across the ring. And let me tell you something, Rusty, both of these women are exhausted. Somebody's gonna have to capitalize big here. Oh! oh! Reminiscent of the stinger splash there. Into the ropes. And Take a crossbody into a pit, here we go. Two count. And it did take Brett the Wall a moment to get down that time. That may have assisted Misfit just a little bit, not saying it was intentional. Brent, Brent's These getting a little happen. It happens. Into the ropes. Goes Nibira. Oh! Misfit takes it down with a clothesline cover. Uh oh, here we go. Leg. You think that has anything to do with B-dubs being one of our sponsors? You think? Brett the Wall's been spending a lot, a little bit too much time with Buffalo Wild Wings. It's very possible. I've seen him down there quite a bit. I've been able to go down there. He's got a frequent chopper card at B-Dubs. Is that a thing? It's, it is. I, I've actually got one of those myself. Really, Rusty? Absolutely. Oh! Well worth it. Now, Bira, she is in control. She is. She is. You, you kind of took the words out of my mouth here. That's what you want to see from a champion. Double clothesline and both women both are wiped down. out here. This is equivalent to clearing the chessboard, Rusty. We're back to square one here. Anybody and everybody has an opportunity to win this matchup now. Brent the wall, he's counting away. Nabir up to her feet, Misfit now as well. Sizing each other up there, going to each other's respective quarter, meeting in the middle. Uh oh, they tie up again right in the middle. Who's going to be able to take advantage here? Nabira. Nice headlock here by Nabira. What is she going to do? Rusty, she's going to have to close this thing out. The longer she lets Misfit hang around, the more likely it is she walks out of here no longer the champ. It's very possible. It's clubbing hard blows again to Misfit. Nabira gets ready, goes into the corner. Hard! Nails that patented splash one more time. 
And another for good measure. Uh oh, could this be? One more. The last hurrah for Misfit. Oh, Dropped toe hold. Went to the well once too often. Well executed there by the challenger. Uh -oh, Whoa. Wraps her up. Nope. Ooh! Ho, ho, ho. My, 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 that's trouble. Like a death drop right there and a three count. You have a new champion. Round and round we go, Rusty. Where we stop, nobody knows. These two women just got down and dirty, and guess what? I don't think we've seen the end of this rivalry just yet. I don't think so either. There you see it. Misfit walks out of Salina, the new top of Texas women's champion. Wow. Rusty, I can tell you one thing. When women put their bodies on the line like that, that's something they absolutely got to respect. And the craziest part of it all is we ain't done yet. We that's only deep. our second of five championship matches that we have here. Gold Rush is delivering, and we're just getting started, Rusty.